Hello, everyone. Welcome to East West Horizon. At the beginning of 2022, in the spring season, good news came to the Chinese community in the U.S. In the Starbound National Talent Competition, the Xiaopei Chinese Dance Academy, created by Chinese American dancer He Xiaopei, won the first place in the highest large group elite level with their masterpiece, The Poem of Spring. With a score of 295.6 points, give it up for entry number 765, The Poem of Spring. <laughs> Say your studio name for me. Uh, Xiaopei Chinese Dance Academy. I love it. Xiaopei Chinese Dance Academy. I've been working on that all weekend. How am I doing? Pretty good. Pretty good? Oh, thank God. I've been really trying. You guys are fantastic. Show-stopping, beautiful work. Who do you want to say thank you to? Our teachers, uh, Wang Xin Laoshi and Xiaopei Laoshi, and our parents and, and us. And us. Well, good. On the, on the count of three, nice and clear for me, the name of your studio. One, two, three. Xiaopei Chinese Dance Academy! Excellent. What is more worthy of pride is that the pure Chinese dance has demonstrated its charm on the Western stage. It deserves this recognition. Our group dance won the first place with 295.6 points. The Poem of Spring is a pure Chinese dance originally created by Wang Xin, a senior young dancer who graduated from Beijing Dance Academy. Let the world see how the Chinese dance look like. This is our first time to enroll in the elite level, and we won the first place, which surprises. The Western judge could see the beauty of the Chinese dance. Dance is one of the oldest art form of human beings. It can be said that as many years of civilization in China, there are as many years of dance history. Since the most primitive ancient times, traditional Chinese dance has undergone multiple stages of evolution. Everyone is showing off their skills. In fact, those skills are the expression of Western dances, not Chinese dances. Chinese dance has Chinese techniques. They add a lot of those tricks to the Western spin in order to win the game. But we actually want to express is the traditional Chinese culture. The real Chinese dance is not for the competition. To win, to cater to, and to add these skills, lost the characteristic of Chinese dance. Chinese dance techniques and expressions rooted in China's classic culture are completely different from any type of Western dance. Chinese dance is fundamentally different from Western popular dance. Many people have heard of the neon clothes and feather dance, which was admired by the ancient Chinese poet Bai Juyi. 
There are thousands of songs and dances, but the most favorite is the neon clothes dance. She got the second place by the total score. All other competitors are very strong in Western technique. She accomplished this by Chinese dance. It is really amazing. I performed a very old classic dance named All to the Lotus. Second place scores 295.7. Let's go to act number 760, Divine Lotus, Janita from Xiao Pei Chinese Dance. And in first place. Western dance is represented by ballet, while hip hop street dance is another representation of modern dance. As Wen Yi Duo said in About the Dance, dance is the most direct, subtle, intense, sharp, pure, and sufficient expression of the emotion of life. Dance is always the most enthusiastic expression of human beings linked with emotions. <笑>对叫滇南印象对一个非常美的一个傣族的伞舞 how to express emotion and beauty. The East and West have completely different interpretations. For example, rotation in Western dance is very different from Chinese dance. Western dance requires fixed point to prevent dizziness, while Chinese dance should avoid fixed point and naturally integrate rotation with other dance postures without any stopping. Because of the difference in rotation, Western dance judges even wondered why Chinese dancers didn't stop, didn't keep their heads fixed, so as to avoid dizziness. Chinese dancers adapt their bodies to rotation through hard training and naturally master the skills without dizziness. But while things vary in the technique of dance, the authentic remains the same at a high level. Oriental artists, like any other profession, use hard work as the only way to succeed. These children began to practice dance at the age of four or five, and many will keep on practicing until they graduate from high school. There are many Eastern artists who have made achievements in the Western art world. For example, cellist Yu Yu Ma and pianist Long Long. Recently, one of the world's most renowned ballet dancer, Yuan Yuan Tan, was recognized for being on point 
for over a quarter century. Yuan Yuantan, born in Shanghai on February 14th in 1976, she was admitted to the Shanghai Ballet School at the age of 11. She could be acclaimed worldwide for her perfect display of complicated combinations in ballet dance. She is the only Chinese starring in the San Francisco Ballet and is the first Asian to hold the position of a principal dancer longer than any other dancer in the SFB's history. At the age of 18, she became the youngest soloist of the San Francisco Ballet, which was one of the three major ballet companies in the U.S. A year and a half later, she became the youngest principal dancer in SFB's history and is still the only Chinese principal dancer in the world's top ballet company. Art and beauty has no borders, and the more national they are, the more global they are. The world is enriched with all kinds of colorful arts. Art with only one voice and style is always boring. Eastern art and Western art are irreplaceable in the history chapter in their, in their respective economic and cultural development. Focusing on the world, it is the well-being of all mankind to let Eastern and Western civilizations share beauty. Although there are differences, wars, and confrontations in the human world. There are more beauty and art, elegance and civilizations, and everyone appreciates. We believe that the world in the future will be more beautiful created by our children with the heritage. Thank you for being with us. See you next time.